Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is the commissioning tab that we have in the software. So, let's go to the presentation. So, the commissioning tab is actually a very useful functionality or part of the software that we have. And it's valid for any of the PLCs that we, are, that we have in the software. The idea of this commissioning is to visualize on the PLC all the variables or the variables of the system. Now I'm going to go in details on that part. So this is just the overview. We have the output windows that we have at the other time. We have the watch and we also have the possibility to use the oscilloscope in there. On the left side, if you haven't touched anything, okay, you have this commissioning window that basically it shows um, in a very useful way, the variables that we have in the system. And then in the middle is the page with the variables that you have selected. So in case you don't see some of those uh, windows, we just need to go to view, tool windows, and then select what we want. Now, it is important to understand on the software, um, the difference uh, tools that we have. So in the top part, I already mentioned that we have the commissioning toolbar and here we have a few elements, only just a few. We have this one, which is for the connection with the controller. Okay. It just make the connection in this part. It doesn't specify how. Okay. Then these two are related to how they can visualize the data from the page of the variables that we have selected. And this one create a selection of all the variables that you have in the page that you have selected. And these two buttons is just to write or read or write the information that you have to redefine. Okay, and this one is just to read all. So let's go to the software to easily understand all this part. This is what I'm going to show next. Uh, so this is the software, okay. Right now I have a PLC and 172 over Ethernet, okay? Um, and it has a different application, okay? It doesn't have the same application as I have right now at the moment. So um, you can see here you have the status. So here I can show you how you can connect to the controller, okay, to any controller, okay? Uh, in the same family range of the software, for example, in my case, I don't have this one. I have the other one, the shorter one. So what I'm going to do is to select, change the target. So for that, I need to go to configuration, to configuration, select target, and I'm going to select uh, this one, the smaller one. This is just to show you that I can open any application, create a blank application and just connect the controller and see the internal variables how to check the internal configuration. So I go back to the commissioning. So if we click over here, we should be able to see uh, some information about the device that is configured in the software, not the one on the controller. In order to connect to the controller, I need to specify how I'm going to communicate. That's why I have these settings. So by default, I believe in my case, it's already configured as a model of TCP. I'm going to use Ethernet connection. So I need to select the properties to define which is the IP address of the controller. In my case, it's this one. So, okay, okay. So now, I already mentioned in the top part, we have a few tools, and I'm going to use this one to connect to the controller. As you can see over here, and I connected with the controller, the PLC application has this name, okay, which is totally different to the one that I have over here. You can see it's different. As you can see in the top, in the bottom, you have the status. I am connected with the controller, but the code is different, okay? So now what I can do is to read information from the controller. So for example, I want to check which is the IP address of the controller, even if I know, but probably you can use the cable. So I can select, for example, this and press read. So I can read which is the actual value that I have. 
or I can use this one to select all parameters and then read. And if I want to change something, okay, you can see that you have the defaults that ca are coming from this part, okay, but I don't want to go into much detail over here. So we have the default, it doesn't matter right now. What is important is the column dot value. So we need to read which is the actual value from here. So in case we want to make a modification, we just change the value and then write. So, for example, I need to change the analog input of the draw of the PLC. So we just need to go to analog IO, lower band or upper bar, depending on the configuration you have. And here to just make the configuration what you want. So let's just read first. Read. Okay. So I read the PLC information, actual configuration. Okay. And I'm going to change this, for example, to voltage. If I do this, okay, it is important to um, to understand that it changed the impedance that you have. So probably it's going to be good to disconnect any proof or sensor that you have connected. Once you have made this have made this change, you can write this information into the controller. But let me just double check something here. Yeah, oh, okay. I just already check. Um, I have a sensor over there, so I don't want to disconnect anything. So, what I'm going to do now, instead of changing this, I'm going to change other ones. So, I'm going to read again. So, this value that I have changed is going to be modified with the actual value. Okay. When you have the value zero, it means that uh, the value that you have probably is not the same as you have the controller. The value will be the right when you have this in black. So let's go to upper board. Let's read what we have. Okay. So these two are configured digital inputs. These two in NTC and this one also, but different. So what I can do is to change this, for example, 0 to 10 volts and 0 to 10 volts. Something important, for example, for the case of the M172, the configuration of the analog inputs must be by pair. So we need to change every time by two, the two of them. Okay, so here you can see that I send the value. Okay. Now I can read it and it's going to be the same because I have changed it. And it is different compared to the default one. That's why you have it in, in blue. So this is just a quick overview what you can do. I don't have the software uh, or the application of the real controller that I have, but I make I can make some modification in case, for example, I need to change the um, the serial line, the CAN or the Ethernet communication. Okay, I can do those stuff, and also read which is the actual value. So, for example, I have a temperature sensor connected over here, and I can read it. And I believe I have up to over here, so I believe it's going to be this one. So let me just give a little bit of heat over here. <laughs> and probably if I read again, probably it's going to be different. Okay. So this is how you can work with the PLC. Another useful thing that you have here in the commissioning is that you can define um, the BIOS download. Here you have the possibility to download to the controller the BIOS. Okay. Once you press browse, it will take a look in one specific folder in your laptop to take the right, uh, the latest firmware or the folder with the firmware that you have, and then you have the possibility to select. Another thing that you can do is to connect, um, do, do, do. let me just close this part, uh, commissioning here. You have the possibility to see the website and download the website that you want, okay, which is similar to the visualizations, but different. You have the possibility to create or generate the files to use in a USB stick. And also you can have access to the uh, like a FTP server of the PLC. Okay, so there are a few things that you can do inside the commission. And it's very useful in case you need to make a modification of the Ethernet or one of the serial or the analog input okay, type. And you don't have the software. With this, you can connect and make the modification, which is, uh, I believe, is good. 
um let me just check if i forget about something no this is only for this is just a quick overview for the commission then later we go in more details about uh each just each of the different topics that we have for the software so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.